Travel TV 11. This is breaking news. And good morning, everyone. We're following some breaking news this morning, and it's another school shooting, this time closer to home, Southern Maryland, and the school is Great Mills High School. Reports coming in about 8 o'clock this morning. The sheriff's office there in St. Mary's County investigating that shooting. Again, Great Mills High, about two hours south of here. And so far, the school system's website is saying the school is on lockdown right now, but the event has been contained. Officers from the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office are on the scene, as well as federal authorities as well. There's no word on just how many people may have been injured in this incident. We are hearing reports mm -hmm. that several people were sent to the hospital, that there were several people injured in this in this incident that happened about 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah, this is video now. It's a uh, website out of that area, Southern Maryland. It's thebaynet.com, and you can see how big the response is to the school. There's sheriff's deputies vehicles. It looks like a fire vehicle as well, and we heard earlier this morning that the ATF is now sending a crew there to Southern Maryland, uh, about 70 miles at south of Washington, D.C., if you're familiar with the area, right in the Chesapeake Bay area. It's a, a school with about 1,700 kids. Uh, and again, the, the details uh, slowly coming in from that area. We know that it's a high school. We know that there was some kind of incident, a shooting there at the school, uh, but still unclear of who was involved, uh, just how many people were involved there and, and who the actor was uh, throughout it all. We are getting some response though on social media. That's right, the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office posted this message to Twitter asking parents not to respond to that school. Do not go to that school. Head to Leonard Town High School instead to be reunited mm -hmm. with your student. And Governor Larry Hogan has released a statement on Twitter saying, we're closely monitoring the situation at Great Mills High School and, and the Maryland State Police in touch with local law enforcement and they are ready to provide whatever support is needed. He goes on to say, our prayers are with the students, the school personnel, and the first responders there at that school this morning. And what we understand the situation we're being told is contained right now. The most important thing for parents to know, is do not go to that mm -hmm. school, head to Leonard Town High School uh, to be reunited with your student. And we're still getting the information coming right. in. We have been told that there are several injuries, but we're still trying to figure out ex exactly to what extent at this point. Sure, and I think we also have a message from State Representative Steny Hoyer. He represents that district. He also on Twitter this morning, 5th District Representative, covers that area, tweeting that I'm closely monitoring reports of an incident at Great Mills High School in St. Mary's County. My prayers are with the students, parents, and teachers. Please follow instruction from local law enforcement responding to that scene. So we'll backtrack you again. About 8 o'clock this morning, a call came in. Uh, we started to see it on social media. Then it started to be confirmed by local uh, media there saying there's a shooting, some kind of event at Great Mills High School. Again, that's St. Mary's County. Unclear of how many people involved. We do know that uh, some people are being treated medically, but we don't know how many of those people, if they're students, if they're teachers as well, and who the main actor is. This is an idea of where that school is. So if you looked Southern Maryland, I mean, any closer, you're right in the Chesapeake mm -hmm. Bay, south of Washington, D.C., about 70 miles, about a two-hour drive here from the Baltimore area. We have a crew headed there right now. And we'll continue to update this as our crew is on the way mm -hmm. and as we get more information from our sister station in Washington, D.C. as well. And we will keep you updated throughout the day on this breaking news uh, on all platforms, on our website, on our, uh, on our app, also on the air as needed as we get more information and updates. Uh, we'll bring it right to your lock screen, mm -hmm. too, uh, so make sure you get those push alerts to your lock screen.